let's see. So the, the theme is save lines, clean your eye. The, the, the ladders for monitoring basic wash service in a healthcare facility include water, sanitation, hygiene, waste management, and environmental cleaning. Well, well water, the basic services to water should be available from an input source. source then a limited service includes an improved water service is within 500 meters of the premises and no service then water is taken from unprotected dog wells. While in sanitation, improved sanitation facilities are available between basic service and limited service at least one sanitation facility is available. No service toilet facilities are unimproved and so or there are so no toilets should be uh, should be facilitated. Hygiene. Functional hand hygiene uh, facilities should be available in the areas with basic service. Functional hand hygiene facilities are available at a point of care at limited service. And no functional hand hygiene facilities are available, then it's no service, it should be answered. Waste management and waste is safely segregated into at least three bins in basic service. There is limited separations and disposal of salt in limited service. And there are no separate bins in no service. In environmental cleaning, the basic protocols are being followed and are available. In basic service, there are cleaning protocols, but some staff have received training and impartial compliance to, towards the same. No cleaning protocols are available, no staff have received training and no service. This is about the monitoring basic wash services and healthcare facilities. WHO or UNICEF guidance on practical action that countries can take to achieve universal access to wash provides an important framework to guide efforts and track progress. Consider a best tested improvement strategy now exists. WHO hand as an improvement strategy, then field tested in eight pilot centers and uh, three pretty health facilities were, 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 were done. And five more five core components and five hand indication for hand hygiene has been out. Five, five multi model strategy for hand hygiene. This includes uh, one is system change that is access to a continuous water supply, to soap and towels, to second is the training and education, third is the evaluation and feedback, fourth is the reminders in the workplace. And fifthly, the institution safety committee, creating the environment that the perception that facility awareness rising and about the patient safety. Strategy components include stress, successful and sustained hand hygiene improvement is achieved by implementing multiple actions to tackle different obstacles. Based on the evidence and recommendations, a uh, number of components make up the multiple strategy for hand hygiene. The key components, as I mentioned before, is the system change, ensuring that the necessary infrastructure is in place to allow healthcare workers to practice hand hygiene. This includes access to safe water supply and readily accessible alcohol based hand product. Then, training and education provide regular training on the importance of hand hygiene based on the five moments for hand hygiene. Evaluation and the feedback, monitor the hand hygiene practices and infrastructure, allowing the perception and knowledge about health care workers while providing performance and result feedback to the staff. Reminders in the workplace that is a prompt that remind reminding health care workers of the importance of hand hygiene and appropriate indication procedure for performing it. Institution safety committee that is creating an environment at the person and the perception that facilitates the awareness about patient safety issues while guaranteeing consideration of hand hygiene. Active participants at both institutions and individual level, awareness of individual and institutional capacity and partnership with patients and patients. The guide to implementation of the hand hygiene improvement strategy includes tools for system change, tools for training, tools for evaluation, tools for reminders, and tools for the institutional committee. Institutional safety climate. The tools for safety and challenge includes like water survey, alcohol based and planning tool, guide to local production, and others. Tools for training include slides for hand hygiene coordinators, slides for education session, and others. But tools for evaluation include a hand hygiene to a technical reference manual. Reminders include your five, five moments, hand hygiene posters, hand hygiene posters, and template later to adequate hand hygiene to managers. Complex with the hand hygiene difference across facilities, but is globally less than 40%. Presence being too busy, skin irritation, glow use, and don't think about it. The hand hygiene self assessment framework is a systematic tool which is to, to obtain the situation analysis of the hand hygiene promotion and practices within the individual health. The hand hygiene self assessment framework is divided into five components and sentencing indicators. The five components reflect the five elements of the hand hygiene improvement. And these indicators are between evidence and expert consensus and have been used as questions with different defined. Inadequate hand hygiene practices and hand hygiene promotion are deficient. Significant improvement is required. Basic some measures are in place but not to a satisfy the standard. Further improvement is required for the intermediate, intermediate and approved hand hygiene promotion strategy is in place. Hand hygiene practice high improved, but it is not crucial to develop long term plans to ensure that the improvement is sustained and processes. In advance, hand hygiene promotion and optimal hand hygiene practice have been sustained, helping to embed a culture of safety in the health. Education of health care workers is an important component of the work of infection control team. Through education, the team can influence the patient care practices and induce improved ones. 
It is not recognized for handwriting, however, education alone may not be sufficient. Attitudes and compliance with handwriting are extremely complex and multifactorial, and studies indicate that a successful program will have to be multidisciplinary and multifaceted. The image of his handwriting audit tool as per WHO. Thank you for the references used in the audience.